In this video, I will demonstrate how to create certificates, declarations, and other compliance documentation using the templates. Before you can do so, you need to create a requirements list, and I've already done so. So let's say that I begin my, I start my work on uh, the CPSIA, and eventually I will find this children's product certificate, a green icon. A green icon indicates that this is a documentation requirement. And what it tells me is that a CPC is required. And down here I can find a template. I click on this button. And it then allows me to add a template to this product. Up here you can find the source that the, the template is based on. And other important information. It's quite straightforward. When you add a template you simply have to fill it out based on the subheadings. You fill this out one by one, you can also add rows, you can remove, you can make edits. You can also add additional headlines if necessary. You can find some guidance to help you understand what information to include. And down here you have to set a file name and then save. And if you click on the button on the left, you can also download a PDF version of the document. Let me show you what a one that I've already filled in looks like. And by the way, once created, uh, the document will automatically appear under attachments, but only for this specific product, just to be clear. Anyway, um, I've already filled in another CPC. So this is what a completed template might look like. Okay. And as mentioned, when you make an edit, you have to save and you can also download the PDF. So the question then is, what should you be doing with this PDF? Well, that depends on the regulation or the directive. Now, in the case of a CPC, you need to issue a CPC for each shipment. Okay. But you only need to store it as a file and have it ready if requested by the, uh, the customs authorities in the United States or by Amazon and so on. Now keep in mind that many of these documents must also be supported by test reports. Um, but the requirements vary depending on the, 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 the regulation or the directive. In some cases, especially in the EU, when it comes to declaration of conformity documents, you may also need to print them out and also sign them. It depends on the specific document.